Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and a very happy May the 4th to you all. It's Star Wars Day, and of course, the Hasbro Star Wars team took to their YouTube channel to unveil some new Star Wars toys, Black Series, Vintage Collection, helmets, all those good things, all these crazy things we love to collect. One thing I'm going to say, just as, just as constructive criticism, not one of those people that write obscene things. Stop with that. It gets annoying after a while. But for some constructive criticism for these types of events to the Hasbro team. Now, at one point during the entire unveiling was I excited about what was going on. There is a certain way to get people excited, to get people energized. This was a very humdrum, very humdrum presentation. If you're looking at it in the sense of they told us all about the products, they told us how to get it, success. That's great. But it's Star Wars Day. There was nothing to it other than reading off a script. Emily, she was great. I like seeing her giant massive Star Wars collection in the back. Everyone else, I can't say that you know about Star Wars, that you know about these characters, that you know about what you're talking about. You can tell me all day that you don't, or you do. That's irrelevant. I don't see it. And when it comes to all this kind of stuff, you have to see it. You're only given a little smidge of time to see this information. And as far as I'm concerned, yeah, there's one person here of the three that I could go, oh, well, they probably know what they're talking about. So I would say, please, going forward, Star Wars, let's have some fun with this. It's Star Wars. There's so many characters. The Bad Batch is coming out. It's exciting. There was no excitement in this. And going forward, I want to see something more, something more extravagant than just simply reading off the script. And that's all I'm going to say, because we're going to get into some figures here. But let's start it off. They went over the Hoth Vintage Collection Luke Skywalker that they revealed back at uh, PulseCon, right? They goofed. They forgot to put a collar piece. Everyone at Star Wars was like, oh my God, you forgot to put the collar piece. Freaked out. Life was over. They forgot to put it on. I It kind of goes in the sense of, okay, how can you forget this collar piece on? I know things happen. Star Wars is very complicated, but you make the Star Wars... As fans, we do expect a little bit more of like, you know, it's like putting the wrong name on the um, expanded universe figures for that one character, right? So in that sense, thank you for fixing the collar. But going forward, let's let's pay attention, pay attention to detail. That's all I'm going to ask you for. Because we go into the Star Wars retro collection. We got a Darth Vader figure, right? That was, a what, a year or two ago? They had the retro stuff. He's all in that prototype look multiple colors and everything else well they're doing it again and they're going to be doing the boba fett retro collection right so he's going to multi different colors they will not have any repeating colors apparently uh the only thing that will repeat will be the backpack in some way but uh all of everything you mostly see uh going forward throughout this entire video will be available for pre-order starting tomorrow may the 5th so revenge of the 5th yeah, we can pre-order everything. This will be a Target Store exclusive, and in Canada, it will be a Toys R Us exclusive. So again, pre-orders tomorrow. He looks good. I like these types of weird... I mean, it's something new and exciting. I like, I like it. So definitely very cool to see. Then they went over the new Clone Trooper Echo that they're coming out with. New Deco, all that kind of stuff. He looks good. They're going to be doing a new off-world Jawa figure. He's going to have soft goods robe. He comes with three weapons. They want you to army build this. They just blatantly tell you nowadays. <laughs> hey, buy a bunch of these if you can find them, right? And he comes with the, the Mudhorn egg from the Mandalorian episode. I thought that was pretty cool. On the packaging, they're pointing a weapon uh, at the camera, right? That's that's usually you don't see that. That's pretty cool. Anyways, again, these will be available for pre-order tomorrow. And depending on when you see this video, I will have links down in my description below. And then they showed off episode six, Tebow. He's part of the original 96 Cool. There's another Tebow figure. It comes with several weapons. Yada my yada. Then they come to the gaming greats. Be a GameStop exclusive line. The EB Games in Canada. And then European countries, you can get them from Fran retailers. And then apparently they should be on Pulse 
at some point. So yeah, that, that'd be cool. So everybody can get a chance to get these things. But yeah, the Flame Trooper will be coming. He's from the Jedi Fallen Order. They did some modifications here and there, and he will come with a new flame thrower as well. So that looks cool. And then they have the Knight Brother Warrior, which I totally thought was Savage Oppress. It's not. Army build this guy too. You know, just like when you go through a video game, it's all the same, like generic <laughs> enemy. But um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks cool. I just wish it was the other character that I was actually thinking about. And again, GameStop, yada, yada, pre-orders tomorrow. Moving on into the Bad Batch. Haven't seen the new show yet. It went live, what, at midnight last night. Haven't seen it yet, so when I do, depending on this, yeah. I, I'm interested in seeing it. I don't necessarily know how much I'm going to get into it. Don't really, I, the weird cartoon stuff is odd for me for Star Wars. Never was into the Clone Wars. I really like that Gendy Tartakovsky, like hand-drawn animation Star Wars. That was cool. But uh, when you got more than the CGI, kind of loses me. I don't know. I like the movies, to be quite honest with you. But they went over the Bad Batch. You get to see all of them lined up. So all the characters are coming out for that. Some of them have already come out. They went forward in time. One of their pipeline reveals as they like to call it no idea who this is apparently it's a character from the new bad batch show but uh, omega the girl will be coming out sometime in 2022 and then also coming is the imperial clone shock trooper and he looks good red black with the clones the clones get all confused i feel like we've seen this figure a dozen times but yeah he's coming along with vice admiral ramhart rambart I forgive me, I've not seen the new show, but yeah, he's a uh, vice admiral. <laughs> and both of these figures will be Walmart exclusives. I hear the groans already. Walmart exclusives coming this fall 2021. So again, get your pre-orders ready. Apparently, these went up blind blind style, and they should again go up tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Lucasfilm 50th anniversary they're going more for the vintage collection with these reveals also they did state that uh, even after the some of these reveals today later in the year they will have more reveals so it will still continue on throughout 2021 just an FYI but this is cool we're getting the three and three quarter inch Death Star droid Emily showed them off very nice silver this was the one I think of all the reveals where I was like oh, that's pretty cool I might I might get that guy if I see him he actually looks really really nice so definitely nice silver design stands out shiny all that good stuff Endor Luke he's coming as if he didn't have enough Endor <laughs> Luke's but the helmet is not removable. He's got a new face portrait on him. New jacket tarp thing, whatever you want to call that thing. And he will come with three accessories. Here he is in the card back. So that looks nice, I guess. I just, I have an indoor Luke. I've had him ever since Power of the Force, riding the speeder. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't get the appeal for Endor Luke, to be quite honest with you. And then Tusken Raider, he will come with a new head. They've updated the articulation a tad, and he comes with his gaffy stick. And as if that wasn't enough... These will all be Walmart exclusive later in the year. Everything that you kind of see and hear me talk about in this video will be exclusive in some way, which kind of shows how Star Wars is going, unfortunately. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see how things go. Moving on into the fan vote. They took a fan vote, quote unquote, fan vote. Okay. <laughs> As if. As if they're not going to make all these figures, right? So the fan vote winner, drumroll, the Republic Trooper. Apparently his name is Jace Malcolm. They're going to bring him back. This character was kind of hard to find back in the day. But um, yeah, packaging will be updated. So it's not going to be this exact packaging. They'll do it more to what they're doing nowadays. And pre-orders will go up at a later date, sometime in the future. And he will be available spring 2022 so get ready for that and then finally to close it out star wars the black series premium role play helmets they got the death watch mandalorian helmet comes with lights and sounds and electronics a lot of people like to put these in their man caves or collections everything else i think they do look good in that sense it's totally not my thing 
But um, yeah, this will be a GameStop exclusive in the States. It will be UK, you know, you'll have to go to Fan Retail and Pulse, and then EB Games Canada. So available, I, I like that they're kind of expanding it more so people can get what they need. So that really is going to wrap it up. Thanks again to the team for the presentation. We'll just say that. And happy May the 4th to everyone. And happy pre-order May the 5th, Revenge of the 5th, tomorrow. <laughs> Revenge of the pre-orders. We'll see how this goes. But are any of these interesting for you? Which will you be picking up? Which are be like, mm, nah, I'm good. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Star Wars. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I still thought that was Savage Press. I got all excited. Thought that was been, been cool. Get Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Maul's brother. I don't know Star Wars anymore. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.